Hello, this is Stacy from Truly Majestic. Today we are going to be rock painting this pretty breast cancer awareness rock. I'm laughing because I said breast awareness a few seconds ago and I just can't get over it. Anyways, I am going to be just nicely drawing on my very basic shape. So I realize it's a little bit hard to see what I'm doing, but I am drawing just a very, very basic ribbon and then a very basic outline of arms, a head, and some hair. Now the stone I've used, I haven't actually primed it with any color. It is actually black. It's a piece of coal that I found on um, while I was out walking. So I'm just drawing on this giant piece of coal. And we're going to be painting with acrylic paints. So I would love to hear if you guys have any um, breast cancer survivor stories. I know it's a really important um, time for lots of people because it affects so many women. And did you guys know that it actually affects men too? There are lots of men that actually have breast cancer as well, but it's just not really made a big deal about um, for them. So I'm adding some little, uh, what do you call those, like little dashes designs to the dress. And now I've painted the ribbon and the bits of the dress white. And even though this looks white, this is actually painted um, gray. So her arms are going to be gray acrylic paint. And I painted the ribbon white to prime it because I'm going to be painting pink over the top of this. And if I was just to paint my pink onto the black rock, you just wouldn't even see it at all because the black is so intense. By the way, did you guys know that there are loads of alternative ways that you can deal with breast cancer? I know lots of survivors that have used alternative methods, and I won't say which ones because everybody's body is different, but the very most important thing when you are dealing with breast cancer or anybody else that you know, whether it's your friend, your family, relative, anybody that you know, that's dealing with it. The most important thing above doctors, above medicine, above herbal remedies is to absolutely keep a positive attitude and to in within yourself um, believe that you can be healed. I found it so interesting. A few years ago, I read a study about um, a study done on orphans. The orphans, some of the orphans had within their family history of heart disease and different cancers and another set of orphans didn't have any of those things they just had a clean bill of health um, from their parents and grandparents and so on and the ones that were put into families where they talked about the sicknesses um, the ones that did, had a clean bill of health and they never had any problems the ones that were put into families where the family talked about their illnesses and their own heart disease and that kind of stuff um, the twins, not the twins, the orphans actually developed those things that they were talking about, even though there was no history of it in their family. And the ones, the orphans that did have a history back in their family of different diseases and sicknesses and illnesses, but they were put into families, families had adopted them that had no problems and some of them did have problems health problems but they didn't talk about them and they always stayed positive those orphans never developed any of these sicknesses and this was like a study done done over like 50 year a 50 year period it was incredible so it just tells you how much your own attitude and outlook changes every fiber and every cell and every um, little molecule of your body your positive mind or your negative mind will affect what is happening in your body. So that's the most important thing. And I would love to hear your guys' own stories about those kind of things. So I've painted the hands, well not hands, the arms. The arms and face are gray and I'm attempting to put some hair on her. I didn't <laughs> really like the way the hair turned out and the face was a bit flat, but it's still cute. 
So I'm using some new paints. I've got these from The Works, which is in the UK. And I found them to be a lot um, less trans, no, less opaque, sorry. They're more transparent, but less opaque than the ones that I had used before, which were Crafts for All paint from Amazon. So these ones, they also work well. I just had to figure out that I needed to not water them down like I was used to doing with the other ones. So after we put this shade of brown on the hair, I'm going to also go over this with a lighter shade of brown to give it some depth and some, you know, make it look a little bit more 3D instead of 2D. Okay, we're looking good here. So I'm going over the white with um, just a solid dark color of pink. And this pink is very transparent and I had watered it down a little bit because this is the first time I've ever used these paints. So you have to test out the type of paints you're working with. If they do need watered down or if they don't, sometimes the paints, it's a really good high quality, very pigmented paints. They will need watered down because you just don't need that much of them to cover a lot of surface area. So the whole thing is going to get a color of this paint, the whole ribbon and the little um, accents in the middle as well. And try to remember you, you want one side of your ribbon in front and the other side behind, so you need to remember that with your brush strokes. Around and around and around we go. No, yes. And we have input from the little one as well. That's something about having kids. When you have little tiny ones, you have to just sneak in editing time anytime you can. And that's not always when they're asleep. So I'm going to put a, a colored hairband in her hair. And I've just mixed white and pink on the end of a bamboo skewer. You can use a stick, a pen. The end of a pencil works really great. The end of a pen works great. Anything you like. Just about everything works great for that. And I'm putting just a lighter color of brown kind of here and there throughout on her hair. Now, I'll tell you something about this design right now. I, I actually love this so much that I... Um, painted this on paper as well and then popped it onto some t-shirts and totes and mugs and other things so that you guys can buy them if you like if you like this breast cancer awareness ribbon and this style of it it looks really nice and it's done with acrylic paint and that's at the very very end of the video you can see where you can grab those things and I hope to have that um the design I did on my blog, so you can actually download it, grab it, and stick it on whatever you guys like. So, I'm just going with a very, very fine brush over these little accents. And then, after this pink dries, I'm going to go over it a little bit more with just a bit of a lighter color on one side to kind of make it stand out. So it looks a little bit sloppy now, but once we go in with the other color and once we put our dots all around, all the messy, little bit of messy lines, um, they just end up looking beautiful like they were meant to be there all along. By the way, guys, if you know of somebody who is a cancer survivor, and it doesn't have to be breast cancer, it can be any type of cancer, and you'd like to put their story forward, I would absolutely love that. I'll have a link to my blog post, and that post will have this rock painting picture and also that other design that I made that goes onto t-shirts and um, some other success success survivor stories as well as a bunch of other resources for dealing with cancer naturally because I'm really um, a big 
fan of doing everything as much as possible without modern medicine and just with the natural ways, um, herbs and different other things that God intended for us to use. They don't always work, but a lot of times they do. And certainly um, the alternative methods definitely don't get to the news and don't get to the people who need the remedies the most. Usually, usually if you go to a doctor, it's just like, this is what you do and this is your only option, which I would say that's never the case. There is never only one option to deal with something. So if you want to post that as a comment on my blog post, I would love to see that. And if you guys have any um, suggestions or good videos that you can post uh, links to of other good information, I'm absolutely thrilled with that. So definitely check out the link in the description that goes down to the blog post. Right, so this is how our ribbon is coming along. You can see the pink, the light pink has definitely added more definition to it. So it looks a little bit more exciting. Now, I'm going to be adding little white dots all along the center of my rock. Why is my rock not moving? Ah, there we go. My rock is moving. So let me get the angle right. I'm going to be adding little white dots and I'm using a pencil tip and a bamboo skewer. And sometimes your paint is too thick, you need to water it down for better dots. And um, when I was doing this, I actually watered down my paint too much in some places and not enough in other places. But because there's so many dots, you can't even see it in the end. So guys, don't worry about messing up. Please don't worry about it. Even if your white dots go onto your ribbons or onto your pink places, because the rock ends up being um, quite busy, with all the dots and the change because I faded the dots from white to light pink to dark pink in the end. You know, with all of these dots, you just don't see the mistakes unless they're like massive, massive mistakes. But don't worry, dotting is super easy. You definitely need to have a go at it if you haven't ever dotted before. And you can use just about anything to use as a dotting tool, like a paper clip, Unwound works, a piece of wire works. I'm just using a bamboo skewer. Um, you can use maybe one prong of a, of a fork if you don't have anything else on hand. I'm sure everybody has a pencil on hand. If you don't, you need to get off of your computer and get a pencil. It's necessary still. Anyway, so off we go. By the way, I think suddenly this just jumped into my mind, and I think I want to share this with you guys. Um, if you guys are on 5G with your phones and you're watching this, it's always best to keep the phone away from you. And I'll put a link down in the description as well. I did a test out with an acoustometer, which me measures the radiation coming out of anything, coming out of anything, not just your phone, anything. Um, and 5G was just like astronomical. Guys, keep it out of your pockets. Do not put your 5G phones in your pockets. Keep it in your purse or away from you as far as possible. I noticed my my hand was ooh, I hear you. My hand was going numb when I was using it. And then I got the acoustometer out and measured it and the amount of radiation that's coming out of that. 5G handset should not even be, it shouldn't even be legal to have a 5G handset. But unfortunately, it's bought, we couldn't return it, and everything is headed that way. So there are special anti-radiation cases you can use that will help protect you. And there's anti-radiation clothing that actually works. It absorbs the radiation through little tiny wires and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just making you guys aware. I feel like I don't normally talk about this stuff on my videos, but um, so many people are affected by this, and it will cause cancer eventually. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, little one. It will cause cancer eventually. 
So be aware and use it wisely. Keep it on flight mode anytime that you aren't using it or needing to um, wait for a phone call. Flight mode actually gets rid of the most of radiation. And you can see that in the video I'll post on the link. We tried flight mode and off of flight mode and um, measure the radiation in all different places of our house, you know, on our um, router, our wireless router for our internet, and some other things. So that link is in the description. Definitely be aware. And we are dotting away. So how do you guys like it? Is it looking okay? <laughs> I love the way this fades out to pink. If you notice, I just put white dots all the way out to the end of my rock, and then I made them very dense around the middle. Now I'm going in with pink, just a little bit into the dense white, and then out a little bit. And then I also dot my pink very um, gently all the way out to my end of my rock. So, so the very outside of my rock actually will end up having all three colors in it. By the way, guys, if um, if you don't want to hear me babble on <laughs> forever and ever, you can always mute this. You can speed the video up or slow it down using the gear icons. This is YouTube. And I would just absolutely be thrilled if you shared this video on your timeline to help people become more aware of cancer, of breast cancer in particular, and also more aware that their 5G mobile phone handsets put out an incredible amount of radiation and that there is ways to safeguard yourself from it. You should definitely never ever let your child play with it because children's um, their skulls and their hands and their muscle tissue, everything is just developing and it just absorbs that radiation so much quicker. It's really bad for children. And I see so many moms and dads on the train and traveling on buses. They just let their kids play with their handsets and they just put, you know, little games on for them to play. And this is like, you know, it's like spoon feeding your baby cancer. It, I'm sorry, that's just so horrible to say. You know, I sound like the nastiest person in the world, but please don't do it. You know, there's better ways to keep your kids are occupied. Get a, a coloring pad or something, or a Rubik's Cube, or some kind of Japanese um, wooden box puzzle. Maybe I should make a link for educational kids' games that aren't on phones. <laughs> uh, can you tell that I'm really against doing a lot of things on phones? Unfortunately, they're necessary in this day and age. There's just no way around not having a phone but you can use it wisely for sure. Oh, I just love this way. Love the way this stone is coming out. Beautiful. So what do you guys think so far? Is it looking good? Am I babbling too much? I hope you come out of this video with a positive um, mindset. I'm not meaning to scare people off or make them frustrated or angry. You should definitely be aware of these things, and that's all I'm trying to do, is make people more aware and have fun dotting rocks and making pretty things. Did you know in the UK, which is where I am, in the UK, it's actually illegal to do any form of advertising for cancer cures. So in the UK on TV, you never ever hear people advertising cancer cures, obviously, because it's illegal. But they advertise cancer all the time. They advertise cancer research, and they tell you, they show you all these sick people, and it's really, you know, I wish they wouldn't have done it. It would be nice to hear see more healthy people and how they've overcome it and instead of talking about the problem. Hi, 
about that, guys. So carrying on, we are almost ready to wrap up. I've just done my dots right out to the edge, and sometimes they've gone even around um, to the outside of the stone. And coming up here, you'll see what it looks like at the very end when it's finished. So here's our finished stone. Lovely. I started painting really early in the morning, and then by the time I finished, the sun had come up and it was shining through the window beautifully. So it's a little bit hard to see what my stone looks like because I have shadows from lace on the windows and sunshine and all that good stuff. I'll pop up a picture here so you can see what it looks like in the end. And that's what it looks like. Really nice. Okay, so I took a, a basic design of this and put it onto paper and then made the background transparent and popped it on all these items. So if you guys want a t-shirt with this on it, and by the way, there's tons and tons of colors for each one of these items. If you want a t-shirt, a mug, a tote, a, a hoodie, a sweater, or anything, or a iPhone case, there's all sorts of things. Um, and I will try to have this design on my blog so you can put it on your own stuff. You're it's free to take. It is my design. It would be awesome if you could link back to my blog post. That would be a huge help um, with SEO for me and a big thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stacy from Truly Majestic. Until next time.